This video is gonna be really short because I only use like two things. Come with this guy. <laughs> this video oh my god I'm so unorganized hey what's up you guys it's Jack and today I thought I would finally show you guys how I film and edit my videos because a lot of you have asked so I thought I'd be nice and finally show you this okay so I only use like two things to make and edit my videos so I don't think this video will be very long but basically I film with a Canon 1200D which I've had for about eight months now I got it for Christmas last year it costs right now I think it's about 350 euro I think when I bought it it was like 380 but I think it's like still the same price, I don't know. So yeah, I use this camera to film. I don't have a microphone, I don't have a flip screen. I actually upgraded to a new camera, but I'm not allowed to use it until I can pay my mom back 410 euro. And if not, I have to wait until Christmas to use it, which really fucking sucks. But just a heads up, my video quality and setup and everything may change in the next month or so. So just be prepared for that. Okay, so that's the camera I use. The second thing I use is Windows Movie Maker. That's literally the only thing I use to edit my videos. My laptop is like two or three years old, so it, the RAM on it is too slow to use Sony Vegas, so I can't use that. So I use Windows Movie Maker and kind of take every good thing out of it to use to try and make my videos that bit better. Windows Movie Maker is completely free to download, so it's quite useful, I guess. It's... So yeah, I use Windows Movie Maker and my Canon 1200D is the camera and the software I use to edit is Windows Movie Maker. Now on Windows Movie Maker I do jump cuts for my videos which means that I could be talking now but right now I'm over here while I'm talking. Or over here you know it's different things. But I'm not very good at explaining how to do a jump cut because I'm not like good and I have no software to show you how I do it so I'm just gonna leave a link in the description of what I watched to learn how to do a jump cut on Windows Movie Maker so yeah so the link will be down below on how to do jump cuts so I hope that helps you guys and if it does good and the third thing I use is for my thumbnails now I know that may sound like a made-up thing but it's not it's a website called PicMonkey and basically what I do is when I film a video I also film a short clip of different thumbnails that I could use so yes I pose in front of a camera for like five ten seconds don't judge me. So after I pick the right ones I want to use, I snapshot that on Windows Movie Maker and then I save that file to my computer and then bring it over to PicMonkey and I'll use that and I'll edit it and make my thumbnail. So I'll also leave the link down below, just down there, for you to use PicMonkey if you want to use it. Another thing I use for my videos is, I cannot remember the name of it to make my intro. I actually can't remember the name. I'll leave a link down in the description on what I watched to help make my intros because I feel like my intros have improved, I don't know. So yeah, I'll leave a link down below on how I make my intros using Windows Movie Maker on what the video that I watched so you guys can go and check that out. And yeah, we're finito. That's it for this video guys, I know it's really short but I don't use much to make my videos at all. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, let's try smash 100 likes on this video because I know you guys can do it because you're really sweet, so yeah. Also if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and join the Warrior Fam because that's the name of my amazing supporters and people that watch me, so yeah, make sure you subscribe. It's literally free, just just hit the button, just, just do it, just do it. And I love you all so much and I hope you had a trans tastic day or a cis tastic day or a youth tastic day and I'll see all you beautiful people tomorrow. Bye.